when we talked about the structure of an atom, we said that at the center of the atom is the proton orbiting the nucleus is the electron. In this case, because it is the hydrogen atom, all we have is the single proton in the nucleus and a single electron. And we saw that there were different allowed orbits around the nucleus, depending upon which atom you're dealing with and how many protons are in the nucleus. So, with the hydrogen atom, I have drawn in the nucleus, the proton, and in this case four of the allowed orbits. And we said that an electron can change orbits. Well, how does that happen? As we saw last time, the orbit closest to the nucleus is the lowest energy level. So in order for an electron to move to a higher level, it needs to gain energy. And the way it gains energy is by absorbing light. So light comes in, the electron absorbs the light, and moves to a higher energy level. How far the electron moves that is, how many energy levels does it travel? Does it move up just one? Does it move through two? Does it move through three? All these different combinations of transitions are going to involve a different wavelength of light. The smaller the transition, the less energy it takes. And we have seen that lower energy is a longer wavelength. So this small transition would correspond to a absorption line in the spectrum associated with a long wavelength. Long wavelength is low energy. is a small transition. If the electron instead travels through a large transition, that will correspond to high energy, which would be a short wavelength. So, short wavelength is high energy and that's a large transition. So in our absorption spectrum depending upon the size of the transition, if it's a small transition or a large transition, that determines the wavelength of the light that is absorbed. The higher the energy of the light, the larger the transition. But only lines missing from our spectrum are associated with the allowed orbits in our atom. So you notice that other colors aren't missing, and that is because the size of those associated jumps would not take our electron to an allowed orbit. So those wavelengths of light are not absorbed. And because that is the case, this pattern of lines that we see in the absorption spectrum is unique to hydrogen. If we looked at the absorption spectrum for a different element, the pattern of lines would be different because the allowed orbits are different. But in all cases, for an absorption spectrum, the electron is absorbing light and moving away from the nucleus.